Coast. A live shot right now from our WVTM 13 Skycam in Gadsden overlooking the Coosa River and just by the look of the river you can still tell that those winds are whipping out there. So the feels like condition will really be the talk of the town. It feels like seven right now in Birmingham. It feels like negative three in Nashville and that coloration on the map. It continues to dip farther southward in Mobile. It feels like 13. Folks that live in Mobile are certainly not used to this type of weather and hopefully you guys are definitely making those preparations, if not already, and just staying as warm as possible and layering up. Right now the actual air temperature is 18 degrees and we're going to continue to drop down even farther. Look at 11 right now on the map in Nashville. That will look more like Birmingham's morning temperature. So as long as the winds are whipping, believe it or not, the temperatures won't drop quickly, but they will steadily move towards about 12 degrees by tomorrow morning. Good news is we don't have any precipitation. We'll be keeping our eyes closely, of course, on all of the weather that's happening in the deep south in the days ahead, mainly because there is a large weather feature that we are going to track heading into uh, early Wednesday morning. Check this out. There's enough cold air around New Orleans and around Mobile. This area of low pressure is going to build and possibly seeing some of the white stuff there around the Georgia coastline and the Carolina coast. This particular area of low pressure is going to ride up the eastern seaboard and it's forecasted to continue out into the Atlantic. Now, no matter what, a ridge of high pressure, the cold Canadian air is going to come in like clockwork by Thursday morning. So that will ensure our safety here, but it will also give another dose of the teens by Thursday morning. So overnight tonight, we get into about 12 degrees by five o'clock in the morning with the wind chill factor of zero or below. Feels a lot colder even by 8 o'clock with full sunshine. Temperature will be 16 and below freezing into midday. So most of our afternoon tomorrow will be spent right around the freezing mark. So forecast high temperature Tuesday of 35 degrees. If you work outdoors, you've really got to monitor how your body is responding to this cold air. Similar when it's hot outside, you got to hydrate, chapstick, you know, lotion and layers, all the layers that you can get. Temperature tops out at 40, but not too much better on Wednesday afternoon. Thursday, that second shot of cold air arrives, so we start in the teens. We will gradually get towards about 40 for your high temperature on Saturday, but we don't return to average temperatures until the latter part of the weekend and the early part of next week. So any winter coats you got for uh, Christmas and uh, didn't get to use last year, plenty of use out of them now.